The annual Research at Intel event offers the chance to embark on a little future gazing. The event highlights research projects in the works at Intel Labs. It sprung up around something called ubiquitous computing, which it sounds kind of geeky and nerdy. It's not that big a deal. What it says is that computing will just be everywhere. And we're kind of living in that world where we all have smartphones, we all have little Fitbits and Nike fuel bands, it's the notion of wearable technology. So we have computing all around us. So what does it mean when everything's intelligence? That includes something as basic as store shelves. This shelf edge technology simplifies grocery shopping. Users list their preferences in a smartphone application, everything from food allergies to what kind of car you own. As you enter the store, the technology recognizes your smartphone via Bluetooth and then displays information personalized for you. Each display has a sensor and changes based on the shopper's preferences. So for example, if you're allergic to nuts, you'll see a thumbs down sign for any products you should avoid. Since the technology knows what you drive, it could tell you which car part to buy. It could even suggest a wine that pairs well with the salmon you've purchased for dinner. The displays are also dynamic. Swipe and you can read product reviews or watch a video. Parents can create smarter baby monitors by controlling devices based upon their child's behavior. This technology recognizes when your baby is unhappy and could turn on a crib toy that plays calming music. Or when your baby is crying, an alert could be sent to your smartphone. The goal of this research project is to reduce vehicle accidents. We have this notion of gossiping cars. Like what if your cars could gossip back and forth and talk to each other and wouldn't it be great if we could use our vehicles to keep us safe? How can vehicles talk? LEDs on this scooter transmit information such as speed and whether the driver is braking or turning. A sensor on the second scooter detects that information and sends alerts to the dashboard. This technology uses another tactic to increase driver safety, minimizing distraction. Cameras track the driver's gaze, warning them when their eyes aren't on the road for longer than a couple of seconds. But what's more unique is that researchers are tracking whether drivers are mentally distracted using near-functional infrared spectrometer technology. I'm checking my mirrors. I know what's going on ahead of me. I see brake lights up ahead. Those are sorts of things that would register as information that your brain is processing from a cognitive perspective. And if we get a handle on that and we can use that information, you know, potentially for safety applications, but also just making the driving experience better. The challenge for Intel now is to get these technologies out of the lab and into our hands. In San Francisco, I'm Sumi Das, CNET.com for CBS News.